Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another trying and testing out new products video. I know that we've been doing a lot of like subscribers pick my skincare videos these days which I'm enjoying so 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 much but I don't plan to like completely replace this series uh, for a couple of reasons. A because these videos tend to sometimes be a little bit more brand specific and I know you guys sometimes want me to typically review and try out like a bunch of different products from one particular brand so when I want to create that kind of content these videos are more helpful but at the same time it's not necessary that I always try out a bunch of different products from one brand all at the same time so that's when the subscribers pick my skincare videos make more sense and they also make more sense because that way I'm trying and testing out and doing products that you guys want to see as well so yeah we'll keep that long ass intro out of this way and um, dive right in because this video has been like I've been working on this video and I've been trying your products out for like so long I can literally give you like my full reviews in fact some of these could even be like empties reviews because I've used up a bunch of them already like in the past couple of months and um, I've been procrastinating to film this video so now that I'm finally sitting down to film this video I'm very very happy about it like you can tell from the title in today's video I'm gonna try and test out I'm mean, not try and test out but I have tried and tested out and fully reviewed uh, like I have my final thoughts so today I will give you a full review on these Earth Rhythm products that I have right here I have four products in specific two of which which are sunscreens which I'm very happy because um, I'm very happy that I'm trying and testing out more sunscreens um, these days as compared to what I used to earlier so that is very exciting we also have a retinoid review and we have um, a review on like a cult favorite product from Earth Rhythm so uh, let's dive right into this video I'm gonna start with my retinoid review first because this is one that I have reviewed in like other videos I've done a dedicated video on my retinol journey which is not up by now I know that because I have to edit that video still that's also one of the things I'm procrastinating but um, we have the Earth Rhythm Rapid Renew Concentrate right here. This is one that I, this is actually not my bottle, this is my mother's bottle. Uh, I have used up two bottles of this already and I've spoken about this in, on the channel uh, in the past that um, this product is beautiful. First of all, let me just say that. This is a really nice gel, um, like consistency kind of a, serum slash they like to call it a concentrate but it's a retinoid that you can use uh, depending on how tolerant your skin is you can use it once in a week twice in a week three times in a week i have used like i've used this i would say for almost two and a half three months regularly where i, I was strictly using this as my only retinoid and um, i kind of kept moving up when it came to frequency so i've reached the point where i can use it twice in a um, not twice in a week every other day basically like every two days um so that is great but um this is a slightly more expensive retinoid and when you are using a product every two days you're going to definitely go through it a lot quicker and retinoid is something it's not like an anti-acne serum that you know once you um, kind of figure out your acne you can then stop using if you want to no retinoid is something that you need to have in your skincare routine for the rest of your life and um, this to have in my routine regularly um, does turn out to be a little bit expensive but it's a beautiful 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 product this is something that is an, is my mom's skincare routine and I will make sure that she's going to use this for the rest of her life uh, even though it's a little bit expensive but she's more simple and minimalistic, minimalistic when it comes to her skincare routine she has a basic moisturizer sunscreen in the morning and in the night time she uses a retinoid along with a sun uh, along with a nighttime moisturizer not a sunscreen a uh, nighttime moisturizer along with a retinoid at night uh, which is a pretty simple minimalistic routine she doesn't have a lot of other products so for that reason i feel like it's worth investing for her and i make sure that she's investing in this product because you will see a lot of great results with it if you are someone who doesn't mind spending a little bit extra money or you will see great results with it i have personally seen the best results when like with this product when it comes to my hyperpigmentation more than anything else of course it's helped up in clearing my skin refining my skin texture but it's also helped a lot with the hyperpigmentation that i had around like my cheeks and stuff of course you can see that i have a little bit of breakout situation going on which is now 
healing and stuff like that so this is like stuff that happened much later but when i was using this product my skin had completely cleared up even the marks had cleared up but that's the thing with acne and acne marks is that they're never going to completely go away they can always come back and you always have to constantly be working on them so um yeah you should definitely be aware about that as well but this is a beautiful 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 product that i would highly recommend you check out if you're looking uh to you know get on a retinoid and you want something that's over the counter that you can just buy and use uh this is one that i would highly recommend that being said i am currently trying and testing out another over the counter like retinol serum product that is a lot more inexpensive as compared to this and if it works as good as this one does then i will have a replacement as well to share with you so that's exciting too so stay tuned for that but if you are interested in a specific product i would highly recommend it moving on next let's talk about a cult favorite uh, product from all through them this is one that literally has a holy grail like status on so many people's um, you know like in so many people's lists and so holy grail in so many people's collection it's one that is like a stand out like cult favorite product from all through them as well specifically and that is the phyto gel now this is a product that i didn't understand what it was is it a moisturizer is it a spot treatment is it like a hydrator because it says it's a calming hydrating soothing fluid um i didn't know what this was but i saw so many people who had acne prone skin sensitive skin rave about this product that i was like you know what i don't know what it is we'll figure it out but i just want to get it and i just want to try it out so what my interpretation of this product is is that it's a moisturizer um or rather i would substitute it as my moisturizer step i wouldn't necessarily substitute this as a hydrator because i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to use something on top of this um like when it comes to like my daytime skin care routine or my nighttime skin care routine i think the consistency of this is such that um it's going to be difficult to layer anything on top of this but this could be like your last step or this could in fact be your only step like that's what i would use it for is the only step in my nighttime skincare routine and that's saying a lot for me because i'm someone i like to layer my toner serum moisturizer stuff like that at night actually i wouldn't say toner and serum it's either toner or serum uh, along with my nighttime moisturizer so i like to do a bunch of you know things at night like either i do like a retinoid with a moisturizer or an aha vha with a moisturizer or like stuff like that so for me to use something that doesn't have any actives at all and use it on the as the only step in my nighttime skin care routine is a big deal but there are times when i just don't know what my skin is going through uh it's breaking out like crazy it's very difficult to figure out and sometimes when you do like too much of like actives in your skin care routine to try to figure out your skin and to kind of try to like treat it and get rid of it it can be overkill so when i reach a point where i'm just doing overkill i'm like you know what let's cut back everything let's not use absolutely anything and let's just use this that being said i know a lot of people are going to ask me okay you typically use the ultra them clear skin serum when your skin is going through something like this so then why are you now saying that you would use the phyto gel um so let me explain that when i have a lot of like over not over the skin sorry under the skin breakouts that are you know i can feel them i know that they will come to the surface soon that's when i will use the clear skin serum because that serum really helps to like pull everything out of your skin bring it to the surface so that then you can treat it that's what that product is typically meant for and that's when i will typically use this this one on the other hand sometimes your skin is just going through a weird itch freakish breakout you don't know what's wrong you don't know what to do because any product that you use it just doesn't help for some reason um and that's when i like to use this i like to use this um i will take off all my makeup do my double cleanse do everything and then i will put this on and um the one thing that i don't like about it, this is the kind of sticky um tackiness that you can get it's not like um it's not oily it's just very sticky and tacky like when you apply this on your face it's never going to completely dry up if you like touch your face even like 15 20 minutes later you're going to feel the stickiness you're going to feel the tackiness and that is just weird or uh, to me but because i'm doing it in my nighttime skincare routine i don't mind it i would not use this in my morning skincare routine 
I don't know if people typically do that. I just don't think I could personally do that. So that's how I use this particular product. Is it one that I? It's not like a holy grail. It's just one that because I have on hand and I've used a couple of times, and I figure out that that's how this works the best for me. It's not one that I see myself. Like repurchasing or you know having in my skincare routine all the time. That being said, I know that a lot of people have more sensitive skin, uh, irritated skin. For those people, this is a great product, and there are a lot of other people who use it in a lot of different other ways. Um, and there are many people who have gone through like bottles and bottles of this and loved it so so much. So they requested the brand to come out with a bigger like more economical size. So you do. Um, have like a 100 ml size of this particular product available this is a 50 grams actually 50 ml whatever um so this is a smaller size but they do have a bigger size as well so um yeah this is a product that i feel like works differently for different people so depending on what your skin type is what your skin concerns are i feel like you should accordingly uh, you know decide whether this is something that you want to get or not I also want to preface this by saying that there are some people who like the more natural, clean, non-actives approach when it comes to skincare, and this is a product that would be really suitable for them because again, it doesn't have any actives. I am someone on the other hand, I focus more on my actives and I use more active-based skincare. So for that reason, this is not a product that appeals as much to me personally. and of course the texture consistency or that also plays an important role so do keep that in mind as well but uh, yeah that is that for these two products now let's move on to the sunscreens so i have my experiences to share with both the sunscreens but we're going to start first with the ultradim micro encapsulated technology hybrid sun fluid ultra defense spf 50 pa triple uh, pa4 plus is not triple plus it's got uva and uvb protection in broad spectrum so this is what the packaging of the sunscreen looks like i don't know if they have repackaged this um since because when i see this online the photo does look different so i don't know if the photo is old and the packaging is new or this packaging is old and the photo is what the newer packaging looks like but um this is what we have right here and um uh, this is not what i had thought it would be uh let's just start out with saying that um this is um a really beautiful consistency when it comes to like a sunscreen product and um when you first take it out like on the back of your hand and use it which by the way I'm not showing you the texture right now because I don't want to waste any product but um yeah you can see the texture and the consistency in other of my content pieces like on instagram or in other youtube videos where i am like actually applying applying the product on my face um so yeah uh, this in case you want to like get a picture as to what uh, this product looks like or feels like it's very similar to the dermaco sunscreen i would say it comes out like in a similar way it's this white um uh, kind of creamy a uh, fluid sunscreen of course that um once you start blending it it does blend in very very beautifully into the skin it doesn't leave any sort of white cast but once you like blend it on on your face and you use the recommended amount that you should like two finger lens or three finger lens i typically do two finger lens um but when when you do that and when you apply this all over your face it makes you look greasy that's the simplest way to say it it literally makes you look greasy it's not like sweat dripping down your face but it's dewy it's very 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 dewy and shiny to the point where literally when people see you they're going to be like why does your face look so 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 dewy that is the kind of finish that this leaves behind on the skin and for someone who has oily skin who is anyways i actually wait i should not say my skin is oily i'm used to saying that for years but now my skin is a little bit more normal combination but i've had oily skin like pretty much my whole life and um for that reason when anyone says that you know your face looks so shiny it looks so greasy or uh, maybe you should go and like powder your face a little bit or something like that when people say such things it is a little um it doesn't give you the best feeling obviously and you feel like are kyun lagaya yaar maine ye um 
that's how i always feel when you know someone says that so um that's kind of why i stopped using this for a while i thought ki acha let me keep this aside and let me like maybe wait to bring this out in the winters maybe when my skin is a little bit more um dry obviously and then the product might not look as greasy on the skin maybe i don't know uh, we'll have to wait to see that but um yeah that's something i definitely want to say that if you like the super duper like dewy greasy look um, on your skin uh, then this is the sunscreen for you if not um i don't think that this is something that you should be getting um just because you're not going to be happy with the overall finish on the skin that being said i want to um give them credit where credit is due i really like the fact that it doesn't leave any sort of white cast at least not on my skin and i'm not super duper fair i'm not super duper dark i'm kind of like medium i would say so for my medium skin tone this works pretty well and it doesn't leave any sort of white cast I don't know if it's going to leave a white cast on people who have darker skin but again I don't think it will because this is a chemical sunscreen it's not a physical sunscreen so I don't think this, this should leave any sort of white cast but again keep in mind it's got a very 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 greasy dewy finish on the skin so yeah keep that in mind that was that now let's move on to the last sunscreen and the last product that we have for this video and that is the matte mineral sunscreen by Autrudim so when i was getting these products that sunscreen was like a new launch and i was super duper excited to try it out because a it claimed to be a zinc oxide sunscreen um it, no it's a titanium dioxide sunscreen no it's got zinc oxide also so it's got both zinc and titanium dioxide in it and it was supposed to be a matte mineral sunscreen that doesn't leave any sort of white cast on the skin so when i heard all of those claims i was very very excited to, to try it out and when i got it in the mail i started using it and i absolutely fell in love with it if you followed me on instagram back then you would know that i used to post so many stories with it i was so 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 happy using it and i absolutely love that product so much that i raved about it i even like watching my instagram stories my one of my super 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 close friends uh, messaged me and she was like i want to get a sunscreen which one should i get and i was like get this i gave it to her she loved it one of my colleagues also um you know was looking for a new sunscreen i recommended the same product to her as well so this is the product that i have used and i have you know gotten other people to start using it and um everyone loves it everyone has had a great experience with this particular product which is why once i ran out of my tube i um asked uh, no i didn't ask okay um i decided that you know what i want to buy backups of the sunscreen i was in the process of trying out the sunscreen but i was like i also want to buy backups of this one so i went absolutely crazy and i bought four backups uh, which i'm going to show you um i literally have four backups the packaging by the way has changed the original packaging that i had was different and then when i got these in the mail the packaging is different uh but i literally got four backups i don't have my original tube by the way i went to look for it in my empties bin but i couldn't find it so i don't know where that is but i did end up getting four backups of the phyto shield matte mineral sunscreen spf 50 but um again, like i said i was in the process of trying out other sunscreens i wanted to retry the dermaco sunscreen i got the fix derma i was trying out a bunch of different sunscreens basically so that's why these kind of went to the back seat and um, it took me a while to get around to using them but i don't want to tell you that all of these were purchased this year itself and we are still like in july today is 1st of july and you're going to watch the video today itself so you get the gist so it's not like any of these were super old or anything it it just been a couple of months um and then a few days back i removed one of my tube because the close friend that i told you about who had used up her tube wanted another tube so i wanted to give this like i wanted to give one of my four tubes to her because i don't want to be uh, like a selfish i'm not going to say the b word but uh, yeah i wanted to give her one of my tubes so i went to my stash i grabbed one of the tubes and i thought ki acha chalo let me just see if the consistency is fine before i give it to her because it happened not that long ago that i was facing like a texture consistency issue with another product uh, which i'm not going to 
give you details of right now but um, i had that issue so i was like acha let me check out the consistency and see if it's proper before i give it to her because she was paying me also for it so i'm like i just want to make sure um and um, i try to like you know open this tube and get some product into my hand and literally you guys the consistency was like oil okay like there was just oil that was coming out and there was a little bit of like white product also coming in so i'm like this is super weird so then i kept it aside i did shake it by the way and i kept it aside and then i was like chalo let's grab another tube maybe this tube ka sunscreen has separated but the i'm sure the others are fine so i grabbed another tube opened it to cut some product the same thing happened um i was like okay this is super duper weird by the way uh when you shake the tube like i told you right that the oil came out so then i shake the tube and i kept it aside when i was shaking it i could hear like a very runny fluid inside you know like when you shake like a water bottle the voice i mean not the voice but like the sound that it makes um that's what this was making so i was like this is weird like that should not happen the product inside is a cream consistency so why is it making this sound so um uh, i tested all my four tubes all of them were making the same sound and i tried out two of them and i saw the consistency and it was really weird so i took photos i sent it to all of them and i was like guys this is happening and this should not be happening why is it happening and then like i mentioned i've faced like batch issues uh and like weird texture consistency issues with another product not that long ago like that happened i think two or three weeks back and then this happened like 10 days back maybe so i was like two different products both that i absolutely love are having these weird issues i emailed them i asked them that you know what is the deal and they typically ask you for the batch number also when something like this happens because it's happened a couple of times with me with different products so i knew that they're going to ask me for the batch number so i sent it anyway right in the beginning only when i sent them the email i sent them photos i told them i have four tubes and all of them are having this issue like this is crazy um so then they were like okay let me check with the production team and get back to you um normally they're very quick let me just say that like i love order them and their customer service and i obviously love harini but if i'm having a bad issue not a bad issue if i'm having an issue specifically with a, like a bad product or something i am going to like you know obviously address that because i'm spending my hard earned money these products are not sent to me given to me for free or anything like that and even if they were then this thing should not be happening but then i would have just thrown it away you know not given a thought about it because it's not my hard earned money but this time it is my hard earned money so i was like i kept I, i think this time they took a little longer with the customer service but they were super sweet um uh, which obviously you should be when you're a customer service executive so um yeah they took a little longer they were like we're checking with the production team we're checking what's wrong there's that vagera vagera and then um they were like okay we'll replace uh two of your sunscreen tubes and i was like that is weird i have four and i've paid for four matlab it was obviously buy one get one free wala offer but still if i'm getting that offer and i'm paying for two but then getting four uh, you have to replace all of it which by the way this time i didn't want a replacement um, i also want to mention that because um i realized that sometimes with other than products um you know if you're having a product for a long time beech mein kuch so garbad ho jata hai usme after a couple of months i don't know why this product stability issue is happening because it should not but um, i realized that i should have actually not bought four i should have just bought one or two but then i loved the product initially so so much that i went crazy and i bought four which it's my fault it's not their fault i mean it kind of is but the quantity four that i own is my fault it's not their their fault is the product stability issues so um any which ways i'm going on a tangent now so uh, they said that and i was like nahi nahi don't replace it just refund my money because i have a lot of other sunscreens also that i love and i'm not seeing this out of like spite i'm seeing this out of i love other sunscreens more than this so i am ten like i'm gravitating for those more often and then even if they replace the product and i have it sitting around in my house i'm not going to like reach for them super often and honestly this like 
प्रोडक्ट स्टेबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट सेपरेटिंग वाला इशू लाइक आई मैंशन हैपन ट्वाइस इन लाइक वन मंथ तो दैट हैज ऑनेस्टली लेफ्ट अ बैड टेस्ट इन माई माउथ इफ आई एम गुरु बी ऑनेस्ट एंड देर आर सर्टन प्रोडक्ट्स एट ऑर्जुर दैट स्टैंड आउट सो मच दैट दे के नॉट बी रिप्लेसड बाई एनी थिंग एल्स वेर इज दैन देर आर अदर प्रोडक्ट्स दैट देर आर सिमिलर ऑप्शन आउट देर लाइक द फाइट ऑफ यूज मॉइस्चराइजर कैन नॉट बी रिप्लेसड बट लाइक द फाइट ऑफ क्लियर मॉइस्चराइजर और द फाइट ऑफ सेरेमाइड और दीज सनस्क्रीन लाइक आई मैंशन आई हैव अदर फेवरेट सनस्क्रीन लाइक द डोमा को लाइक द फिक्स डोमा what else the dry cone of course the ogi oli grail so i have other favorite sunscreens similarly when it comes to the phytoceramide moisturizer which was by the way the other product that i was having an issue with i have other favorites like the formula rx peptide the um, minimalist moisturizer are also great but again i've mentioned that i think they're kind of breaking me out and stuff um so yeah there is that but then there are still other moisturizers like the deconstruct uh, skin care moisturizer is also pretty great um just in general i mean there are other brands i'm getting the chemist play moisturizers which i hope i love um so there is that so there are options out there but where is fight of use is unique on its own and touch wood touch wood touch wood if i face up any like issue with that i don't know what i'm going to do because i'm going to go absolutely crazy any which way is the reason why i even told you this but as a story in the first place is because i want to clear the air um i have raved about the also the matte mineral sunscreen and i know that a lot of you were expecting that in today's review also i'm going to give you like a rave review which i would have you know if this um batch consistency sorry not consistency inconsistency issue would not have happened i would have given you a rave review in today's video also but uh, unfortunately that's not the case and unfortunately i will i mean i already have emptied out all of these tubes it doesn't have the weird fluid anymore um so i'm going to cut them open wash them completely get all of the product out and then recycle it and that's going to be the end of a chapter um i do not plan on purchasing these sunscreens because again like i said i'm in the process of testing out other also uh, 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 i am in the process of testing out other sunscreens and i also have favorites already like i mentioned like derma co like fix derma like tricone the conscious chemist ones also i'm really enjoying by the way i have one of them on my face right now um so yeah also them unfortunately i'm going to have to say bye bye to when it comes to their sunscreens specifically and i'm just hoping that i don't have weird batch inconsistency inconsistency issues with other products but the reason why i had to share the story is because i know that when i do my holy grail videos my wrap up videos my sunscreen showdown videos a lot of you might be like okay where is the also the matte mineral sunscreen you raved about it so 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 much i don't know if i got other people you know who have been following me also to purchase that sunscreen if that has happened i'm sorry if you faced any issues i know there was one person who told me that um, the sunscreen was super oily when she got it whereas when i gave my review i was like this settles into a powder matte finish so i'm assuming now that i've also experienced the same thing that maybe you're having that issue because you also got a bad batch i don't know i'm very sorry if i got anyone to purchase the sunscreen and they had a bad experience with it i'm genuinely sorry from the bottom of my heart but yeah that's why it was important for me to like share the story out there put it out there on the internet so that you guys have a clarity that i'm not lying to you and i want to be completely 100% transparent so um yeah that's the story with that i know this video is super duper long oh my god it's like 30 minutes long um i'm so so sorry but i wanted to share that right here so yeah that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching and if you stick till the end of this video i love you from the bottom of my heart and uh, i'm going to go now because again my legs are cramped completely i have really bad cramp because i'm sitting indian style but yeah i'm going to go now thank you so much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye